If you don't have a professional website that is like a punch in the stomach as far as your quality and what you're able to do for people, you're doing yourself a huge disservice. This is the Cardi Method. Building a strong portfolio. This is the next place where this is where the m -m 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 money is, is your portfolio. Your portfolio, it's your calling card. And it needs to make an impression like a punch in the stomach. Oh, whoa, I just lost my breath. Focus on showcasing, showcasing your best work and tailor your portfolio to attract the target market that you want to work for. So it's too many times I see portfolios that are literally everywhere. And in your portfolio, that's your Instagram. Like, and, and, and it might be because you don't have a website because you haven't taken it serious enough yet. So most people, their portfolio is their Instagram. And what do they post? Whatever the fuck they want. They just post anything. So <clears throat> target your portfolio to attract your target market. If you're a car photographer, show only cars. And you taking pictures of cars. If you're a fashion photographer, show only fashion. And you taking pictures of fashion. So here, I'm going to show you an example because I did a post yesterday and too many photographers don't know how to post. They don't know how to post. <clears throat> they don't know how to post like, and I know it seems super literal. Really? What do you mean I don't know how to post? Just post. I'm going to show you how to post. This is how you post Instagram. Okay. This is my Instagram post. This says Montreal magic in small doses. Portraits of Nazca de Mini. Dimini and Marcus Troy. Read the full story on a life behind the camera, meaning there's more. There's actually more. BTS pics of me by Cheryl. Okay, so you see a picture. Click. Oh my God, there's me on set making the photo or actually lighting the photo. Here's another photo. Oh my goodness, here's me making that photo. Here's another photo. Here's me talking while my subject is rubbing their face. And then some other nonsense. And then somebody saw me in Montreal. Hey, Steve, I think you passed right by me. And I'm like, yeah, that was me. Oh my goodness. And I wanted to say thank you for your inspiration. So you see, I put 10 pictures in this post, I told a story and it started just with a portrait, but I'm showing you more than just here's my picture. It's here's me making it. That is the thing. Do this, do this, do this with all your social media and watch how people start calling you. Watch how people start interacting with you and interact with other people. And look at the comments. I just posted this yesterday. So when many photographers start, their portfolios are a mix of everything, which doesn't help when it comes to attracting the right clients and also doesn't help with the algorithm. The algorithms of all of these Instagrams and Facebooks and TikToks and Twitter, like they're, they're literally pushing your content out to people who look at the type of content that you make. If you're a photographer and you're just posting photographs, it's too general. I shoot the faces of today's generation. So on my Instagram, I show that I shoot the faces of today's generation, but I also coach photographers. So I also, every once in a while, slap in like, hey, reach out to me if you're a struggling photographer. Hey, reach out to me if you're a struggling photographer. So, and I also always show photos of me, always. So many Instagram accounts. There's no pictures of the photographer. It here's me working on set, shooting a video. Here's me setting up my camera. Here's me adjusting the shirt on a client. Here's me shooting a client. 
here's me on a chair. Like showing how deep I go on my photo shoots is what your social media is supposed to to be. It's what it's your, it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a blend of your best work and you making that work and the odd picture of you. So curate your work to highlight your strengths and the type of photography that you want to pursue and also have a website. Your personal website is it's literally your store. And if you're trying to take this seriously, if you don't have a professional website that is like a punch in the stomach as far as your quality and what you're able to do for people, you're doing yourself a huge disservice. Continually update your portfolio and do so to reflect the growth that you're experiencing and the new skills that you're learning. A well-presented portfolio opens doors and opportunities that you can't even possibly imagine because you don't have one yet. Create a portfolio and highlight it on the front page of your website and do it today. <music>